In today's video, I'm going to be melting some pull tabs off of soda cans. After filling the crucible with pull tabs, I'm then going to load the electric furnace with the crucible. For today's metal cast, I'll be using the Cast Mastery Lite GG3000. While the furnace is heating up, I'm going to put together today's mold. I carved these yin yang symbols out of polystyrene foam using my CNC router. I then coated the foam with a thin mixture of wall plaster and water. If you're interested in seeing a video on how to apply it, I'll leave a link in the description below. Make sure to check that out. The flask I'll be using is a soup can that has both ends open. Because of that, I need to first place a piece of wood underneath. I'll be putting the pattern on top of the wood and place the can over and around it. Next, I'll fill the can with fine dry sand. But make sure you're holding on to the can so the can doesn't fall over. We don't want to make a mess and start all over again. Once the can is full, give it a few taps to level it out and fill any gaps around the foam. When you feel you have tapped it enough, you can scrape off the excess sand using another piece of wood and leave that wood on top. This allows you to flip over the can without the sand falling out. It's a good idea to place a smaller can around the foam to act as a pouring basin to hold the metal so it doesn't spill everywhere when pouring. When the mold is ready, it's time to check the metal. Since the metal is molten, I'm going to add more pull tabs to make sure I have enough metal for the cast. And of course, I'm doing my best not to spill the pull tabs everywhere. I think I did a pretty good job. We'll let the furnace sit for a little while longer, then go back and check on the metal to see if it's ready to pour. With foam casting, it's quite amazing on what exactly happens. When we pour the molten aluminum into the basin, it starts to vaporize the foam and the molten aluminum rushes in to take its place. It happens very quickly. So you will need to pour fast enough to keep the basin full, but also know when to stop. And sometimes there's a little bit of junk at the bottom of the crucible that falls out. Let the aluminum cool for about 15 minutes and then you can remove the can, allowing the sand to rush out of the bottom. I think it's pretty cool to watch. You can see the foam pattern is now solid aluminum. Both of them came out great. With the metal out of the sand, we now need to clean both of them up. I'm going to start off by cutting off the sprue. Using a wire wheel to clean off the burnt plaster, Drill a hole to be used as a necklace bale. Then sand it with sandpaper starting at 100 grit and working my way up to 2000 grit. Look at that. You now have a beautiful yin yang pendant. Thanks for sticking around to the end. I made a few playlists for you that I think you would like. That one right there is currently my most favorite thing to do. Now that one right below it, that's one that I have a mixture of the lost foam and sand cast. Ones that I think are super cool that I think you will enjoy. I post at least one new video a week, so make sure you subscribe and I will see you then.